Hey guys, uh, Nintendo Wii 91 here with episode 3 of Nostalgia. Um, we are continuing where I left off. I know there's a few more cutscenes in this video. This is the last of like the really major cutscenes. Uh, we're going through Bottle's house right now. Uh, Bottle's is dead, and Banjo and Kazooie are not blunt about telling the family that he died, so they kind of played off that he's still alive. They're like, hey, yeah, he's an awesome guy. Kazooie's much more so spilling the beans, but Miss Bottle's is stupid and doesn't really listen to Kazooie. So they're just chatting. She's waiting for him to come home for dinner. Because she knows that he never misses dinner. Oh, I'm sure he'll be back soon, Miss B. Oh, yeah, this is the house. I didn't really explore it. I just wanted to get through. And his son, Skaki, or something like that's playing in here. And he talks about, he's talking about how they're going to be in a, a kickball tournament. And Jingling has especially had it set up for Mr. Bottles. Apparently so, from what he says. I don't think you ever see his kids in the first game. Bottles' kids, I don't think you do. Well, it's been so long, I haven't really played Kazooie in a long time. Er, I don't suppose you have any substitutes. And yeah, saying, well, they're punning that his dad is not around, but... He's like, oh, my dad's gonna be here, nothing could ever go wrong, my dad's a hero! <laughs> he says that he dug a special tunnel to get out of the Jinjo village. It's like, yeah, we already know about that, King Jingling... Not, not Jingling, King... Yeah, Jingling especially opened up for us, as Kazooie calls him Dangling, which is another sexual pun, I think, in the game. I don't know if it's intended that Rare did that, but there's a lot of puns in this game. Hey! Man, it sounds like he's on something. So, we are now in the Isle of Hags Wooded Hollow area. I am Jiggy Wiggy, and this is my temple. If you want to see me, you'll need to get past my doorman first. The doorman sounds like he's on helium or something like that. It's actually really funny. So I just kind of walk around. Open up a little transporter to hop through places faster. Oh, one out of one. I thought, it's just like a... <laughs> it sounds like he's on helium. I am the doorman. You have to get past me. Second temple. You have to be worthy to come inside, and so we are worthy because we got a Jiggy, and... Do you think we are worthy? That depends. To prove yourself worthy to enter, you must collect images in the form of Jiggy himself. Well, no doubt, the coat jigsaw pieces. <laughs> now, I'm forewarning you guys. The puzzle in this game is really messed up. Um... I'm capping this, I've been playing the game off of Project 64. I'm thinking the graphics are too high, but when I do the puzzle, you'll see how messed up it is. I can't believe I, I even did it. I, I think it's actually easier, but you'll be the judges. So we'll go in and Jiggy will say, yeah, you have to, you have to, uh, complete puzzles to unlock locations in the game. New levels, there's a ton of, ton of levels in this game. I think we'll play through about uh, 15. I don't know. Jiggy Wiki's temple, yeah, he somehow runs up that perfectly and then stops right there and then they have a chat. Greetings, oh chosen one. You have entered the sacred temple of Jiggy Wiki. Approach the golden mon monolith if you wish to prove yourself worthy. So I approach it, and this is where it just gets messed up. Like, I don't know. I think it's just a graphic issue. I'll have to somehow fix this, because this is really stupid. Okay, what is that? There's no way! It's, there's supposed to be a slight video playing around in the background, and you completing the puzzle, but... I looked at this, and I'm like, uh... I was able to do it, because it's, it's actually really easy. But generally, these puzzles in this game... They get harder as the, the levels get higher. I think I had to try one over a few times when it was coming to the last ones, the last time I played. And you get almost two minutes to beat this. I'm like, oh. Well, that's easy. They just kind of fit in the spots. I mean, it's a complete guess, but they fit. The last one I just was stupid and put it in the wrong place. Oh, yeah. I completed the puzzle, and it looks like nothing. It looks like a bunch of 8 bit color stuff. Hmm. 
and he does his little hand gesture and he opens the first uh, first level for us. Now, <laughs> I think Jiggy Wiggy's pretty much neutral with us because if he really wanted us to be grunty, he would unlock all the levels for us already and we could just go through and get the, get the pieces. I mean, Jiggy Wiggy, it seems like he'd be powerful enough to like nuke the entire like world level so then we can go get grunty much faster. It would save a whole bunch of time and having to go through and play the whole game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That would defeat the purpose of Banjo. Kazooie and Tooie platform gaming, because that's what it is, platform gaming. You you hop over stuff, you hop up on stuff, you have to collect things. That's what platform gaming is. This is why it's so great. So when the first level is opened, it says you are not worthy for Puzzle 2. Of course we're not worthy. We only got one Jiggy from Jingling, who's now a zombie. You don't have enough Jiggies to attempt Challenge 2. Come back when you do. And then the door behind us gets shut because I have to get three more jiggies to go back to attempt challenge number two. So we are going into Mayhem Temple, the first level in the game. Which is pretty cool. They did a nice job with this. Yeah, warp pad. Warp pads and those those uh those metal transporters save you a ton of time in this game. They finally got smart and they're like, yeah, probably you should have some sort of like transportation. Now, logically, you should be able to get that, but no, you have to get into the storm form from Mumbo, which is in the, the back of the, the level here. Just kind of get the controls down. Now, um, mu the music notes have a, have a value of five in this game, so for, for every one you collect, it's like getting five notes. It's much faster and makes the game a, a little bit easier. That's a mumbo pad, and he summons that guy, and you can walk around with him, which will be in the next video. Now, I attempt to go get the other notes, and he says, Hey, get over here! You can land your first move, which is the move that we are I already knew before. There's Dan Jars, the first actual encounter with him, actually seeing him. They're like, oh, you don't... It's a, hey, you kind of look like bottles. And then they go... Banjo-Kazooie further to tell him that he died. He's like, oh, I hope he's alright. Not too good. Recently deceased at the hands of Grunty, the witch. Sorry to hear that feeble. Did he go out fighting? Then he, like, just takes off his... Glasses for no reason, he's like shocked. I could just craft his pants or something weird like that. <laughs> so they chat, continue to chat about the first moves that they're gonna learn. It's not really a first move, I mean, we already know it's just shooting eggs from Kazooie's mouth. You press Z, then press up on the C pad. Really not that hard. Don't know why they didn't do something different with that. He's like, Yeah, you need more music notes. And then Kazooie goes, Wait, we already have enough music notes. So it's a little re it's a little reverse in this game. Um, you collect jiggies to unlock more levels, but last time you would collect music notes to open more levels if I was correct. Correct me if if I'm wrong. I mean, no one's commenting on my videos, but yeah. <laughs> I wonder where he goes. You never see Janjar's house. That was pretty much a move that you get. It's like Nito. I epic fail here and try to shoot an egg into this guy, but I miss, and then he kills me. Or knocks me down one. Then we go over and see Mumbo in his hut, uh, which we'll actually talk to Mumbo in the next video. Just making sure to collect the music notes, because that's top priority in, in this game, but it'll really help you out with all the moves. I thought there was an empty honeycomb piece behind his house, but there wasn't. It was actually inside. I mean, Mumbo is really lazy, he can't collect his own globos. Which is sad. <laughs> so I walk around the house and then I go in. And we will continue seeing Mumbo in the next video, guys. Comment and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See ya.